Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to implement the date picker in Angular 18 using Angular Material. Here's a quick demo of a typical date picker. As you can see, the date picker consists of three main elements, an input text field, a calendar icon and a calendar model dialog. Without further delay, let's get started. In Visual Studio, go to Terminal, New Terminal and type the command Engine New and give the project name. Here I have given Angular Date Picker app. Select CSS. I have just given Yes. Let's wait until the command completes. Once it is done, let's go to the project folder by giving command cd angular date picker app. Next, let's give the command ng add at the rate angular material in order to install angular material. Just give yes. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Selected indigo pink, again yes. Once it is installed, let's run our application by giving command ng serve. So our app is up and running. If you go to the app folder inside source, you will notice that we don't have app model.ts file which we used to have earlier before angular 17 okay now go to app component.html file and delete the existing code let's create h1 tag and just give angular 18 date picker so we are getting the heading in the browser now we will import the required angular material modules into the component there are three modules we need to add First, mat form field module from Angular Materials form fill library. Then mat input module for input functionality. And mat date picker module for the date picker itself. Add these modules to the imports array. Additionally, in the app config.ts file import provide mat native date adapter. And add the same in the providers array for the date picker to function properly. Save this file. Now let's set up the date picker in component.html file. Start by adding mat form field element which will act as the wrapper for the input. Inside it, we will add mat label for input field. Give the text. Choose a date. Next, we will include the input field. Add 
and give mat input. After that, add the mat date picker toggle for the calendar icon. Then give mat date picker. Let's check in the browser. Okay, let's align the icon. For that, we will give mat icon suffix in mat date picker toggle. Looks good now. Next, we need to define a reference variable for the date picker, which we will call picker. To connect the icon and the calendar model in the mat date picker toggle, set the for attribute to picker. And in the import field, bind mat date picker to picker reference variable. Let's test the code in the browser. When you click the calendar icon or date picker pop-up will appear. The date picker also allows you to select a year of your choice. After selecting date, it will be displayed in the input field. That's it guys for this tutorial. You have now learned how to implement the date picker in Angular 18 with Angular Material. Please feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.